This is a patient who has abdominal pain and some altered liver function tests. Got an ultrasound showing a few things in the liver. Got a CT scan to clarify what was going on. Now we can see those few things in the liver are multiple masses in all the hepatic lobes. And uh, these really have a worrisome appearance. They don't look like simple cysts. Certainly don't look like they're going to be primary neoplasms given the multiplicity. And so we'd be worried about metastases in this instance. And the goal then, of course, is to figure out where the primary tumor is coming from. And a couple of things you want to think about, lung cancer in males and females, breast cancer in female patients, those are the top two things you want to make sure you look at. Um, but above and beyond that, it's important to look at some other organs that can that like to metastasize the liver, for example, the pancreas. So we try to look for a subtle or not so subtle pancreatic mass or areas of pancreatic ductal dilatation. I don't see any of them. We can also look at uh, the colon, so look and try to run the bowel. And sometimes it's tough to find colonic masses, uh, but if you're sort of attuned to, to find it, maybe you'd have a better chance. But even look at running the colon, I don't see anything obvious over there. It's important to also look at the stomach. Stomach can often go to the uh, liver in terms of metastatic disease. And as we look at the stomach, the proximal stomach, we can start to see right around here, and if we window it, a subtle area of hypodensity involving that proximal portion of the stomach. Look at that density compared to the rest of the stomach that's enhancing appropriately. And so right there, there's going to be a mass, uh, a primary neoplasm, at least it's very suspicious, uh, resulting in uh, multiple liver metastases. This patient ended up going for an endoscopy, and they did found, indeed found a uh, gastric neoplasm uh, in that location.